Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I'm proud to present an in-depth look at the 2006 Ford Crown Victoria LX Sport. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the Sport Crown Victoria. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at City Chevrolet in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. You have your keyless entry pad on the door here. It's a deep black exterior with charcoal black leather interior. Seventy one thousand miles. Fantastic. It's got a full leather wrap steering wheel, very smooth. Full set of analog gauges, including a tachometer. And in the Sport, you have the Sport specific center console with floor mounted shifter instead of the traditional column shifter. And it's also a four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. Also, overdrive. And let's go ahead and cut on the headlights. There are automatic lights, as well as the hazards. It's got an automatic driver's side window. And let's go and check out the exterior, shall we? The Crown Victoria LX Sport is a special model and performance handling package specific for the Crown Victoria. It includes all blacked out monochrome body paneling and trim. So the traditional chrome grille, chrome handles and the such. Much more stealthy appearance. Long flat hood with raised section blending nicely into the front grille. And as traditional as the Crown Victoria is, it rides on a full body on frame platform. Ford's used for many years. Allows the Crown Victoria to be a very affordable vehicle but still provide a nice ride quality and performance to back it up. On the Crown Victoria Sport, you also have these standard 16-inch five-spoke aluminum alloy wheels on full disc brakes. The Sport package comes with the handling and performance package that includes performance tires, a revised suspension design, dual exhaust, as well as performance torque converter, not to mention all of the standard features included as well. Also something quite unique about the LX Sport is its adaptive air ride suspension. As well as your heated exterior mirrors. Blacked out rear trim as well. Very reminiscent to the Mercury Marauder and Chevrolet Impala SS, the 90s generation. your beveled rear styled bumper. The Crown Victoria Sport is powered by Ford's familiar 4.6 liter single overhead cam 16 valve modular V8. And this unit produces 239 horsepower at 4900 RPM and 287 foot pounds of torque at 4100 RPM. It is rear wheel drive with a short and long arm front suspension with a solid live axle rear suspension and front and rear stabilizer bars. 
has a 19 gallon fuel tank with an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating on regular unleaded gas of 15 city 23 highway. The Crown Victoria is also a pretty safe vehicle. With tests done by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, it earned five stars for driver and front passenger protection and four stars in side impact protection. It also achieves the top rating of good in frontal offset crash testing conducted by the International Institute of Highway Safety. So have you pretty much guessed from the rest of the video so far, the LX Sport is definitely a more sport-oriented Crown Victoria with the monochrome exterior as well as sport-treated interior. Lower storage, carpeted inserts, power trunk release, nice soft touch door panels, your power locks, power windows, and power mirrors, and your full power seat adjustment is located on the door. Now instead of the traditional six passenger Crown Victoria fashion, this one's actually a five passenger thanks to that center console in the middle, featuring front bucket seats. Both of them come with power lumbar, very comfortable and soft. Your power pedal adjustment, curving dash, and a manually tilting steering wheel. And we're going to see if she sounds. Gotta love the sound of that modular V8. Very smooth power plant. And we're going to shut her up. In the Sport Crown Victoria, you have a six disc CD changer, AM, FM, and available satellite radio, very impressive audio quality. Your different radio modes and your satellite radio, seek tuned, mute for your um, telephone use, the equalizer settings as well as your preset stations down below. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And your overhead console, you have your interior illumination, full power sunroof with one touch automatic function. We also have integrated garage home link for three programmable devices, as well as an integrated heads up display. We look down below here, you have your simple to use electronic automatic climate control, temperature, outside temperature, max AC, normal, vent, floor, the different zones here, automatic and off. It's your rear defrost here, integrated driver information system here, it shows up in the middle of the speedometer cluster. Trip computer, fuel mileage. Various customizable options. And so on and so forth. Small storage up above. Integrated cup holders, padded center console, the good amount of storage, 
chain storage and power outlet. As far as the steering wheel goes, you have your cruise control off to the left, as well as your volume control, as well as temperature control on the right hand side. Your power pedal adjusts, traction control, your central automatic lighting. Alrighty. Okay, shut her down. As far as the back seat, traditional Crown Victoria with voluptuous amounts of room. Very simply designed. Storage pockets. Your rear illumination. Fold down armrest with cup holders. and integrated coat hooks. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? The Crown Victoria, as well as the other Ford Panther bodies, are still some of the biggest trunks that you can buy on the market today. With an astounding around 20.6 cubic feet of cargo space, you can pretty much fit just about anything you want into the back. Vehicle's floor mats, Integrated spare tire. Great for traveling and hauling. Seat controls are also on the passenger door for the passenger seat with full power adjustment as you find in the driver's seat with power lumbar. Good size glove box, passenger airbag light, very neat trim level of the Crown Victoria you don't hardly see anymore. It's about as close to the Impala SS that you can get in a modern market. Rear wheel drive performance, sporty driving characteristics and upgraded suspension parts give it a much better, more sporty driving appearance, as well as the comfort and room to match. What more can you ask for in a full-size American rear wheel drive V8 vehicle? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2006 Ford Crown Victoria LX Sport. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take it easy everybody.